What's up everyone, hope you're having a swell day. And this time, we're going back to the 1980s to see my Atari collection. I may not have much, but it's still cool to look at. So, let's see what I got. So let's get started with my Atari. Atari? Why does that sound so familiar? So here, as you can see the title, Atari 2600. And if you're wondering why it doesn't look like the original one or the other one, this is because this is the junior model. So this would be the Atari 2600 Junior. And I think it's very nice, very sleek look model. And you got the four buttons here, or switches. Well, yeah, you got two switches here. This one's for on and off. This one's for color and black and white, but this one hasn't really been working that much. Maybe it depends on the game. And here we have the, here we got the select button. So I guess if you wanna, it doesn't really have a lot of choices, the games, but I guess maybe if you could, if you wanna put two player, you could put two player and something else, I don't know, I'm not sure. And here we got the the reset, so. But the buttons are really tough, like you gotta put some pressure on them. Put some muscle into it. Well, you're hard to press them. Yeah, you got that silver, I like that silver line here. And light lights up when you plug it in, obviously. And yeah. Little vents there at the bottom. Read that. I mean, this sucker's been been through a lot. I mean, the Atari came out in like 1977, around there. Late 1970s, early 1980s. So, pretty nice. Pretty neat. And here you go. You can see the where you plug in the ports and some switches. Yeah, here's a, I'm not sure what the difficulty A, B is, but you got that. <laughs> You got the power, the cables, where you, put, where you plug in the controllers. And then there's here, channel two and three. So you could choose, you know, back in the day. Why, back in my day, I never... When there was only like a few channels, you could choose which channel to put this on. And then this is where you put the games. Yeah, that does not move or anything. But yeah, pretty nice, pretty neat. Uh, this stuff actually was not broken when I got it. It just somehow broke. I guess I just touched it. or I guess after so many years, it just got really weak. or I don't know. But one thing that's interesting is that when you uh, plug in a, like, only, let's see, is this right or left? Left. So this is left. So you have to put it, plug it in the left one first, because if you plug in this one, it's not going to read. But then if you have two player, then you can plug it in, so... That's pretty neat. And I think everyone knows the famous one joystick, one button controller. It only had one button and it did not work the TV. Definitely a classic. Whoa. And one thing that's just interesting, or that's convenient, I guess you could say, is that this has the same cable as the Sega Genesis controller. So if you have a Sega Genesis controller, you just plug that in. I mean, if you have a bunch of old consoles, you probably have a Sega Genesis. Wait, it's not gonna work, so I would have to plug it in here. Yeah, so you go like that. It's really weird though, because it's, it's like, this is the face, but then the buttons on the back, so. Depending how you put it, you might have to put it like this. Probably better put it like this though. There we go. Yeah. Stick. This thing's kind of stiff, but you know, it definitely works. But I will say the Atari is probably. I mean, it's definitely a classic, but compared to other ones, probably one of my least favorite. Just because it's just super. The graphics just, I don't know, I guess they just haven't aged well. But maybe it depends on the game. Maybe I just don't have a really fun game. But they did put a lot of, like, other games that you would see on other consoles here. And, but it's just so much worse, so. That's, it's, I don't know. Whoa. Here are the cables that you need. Whoa. Uh, so it has this huge brick that you connect to the wall. And, uh, oh. This. Yeah, that's what happens when you have a lot of cables. Let's see, okay, so this uses this this little thing here, which is like the little mouse stub. Yeah, that's why this is super old.
But let's get on with the games. So here we have Pac-Man. So yes, they made Pac-Man for the Atari. Pac-Man. I love that game. Okay. There you go for the Atari. But I will say this is probably the worst Pac-Man. I'll put it up on the screen. I think I have a picture or show you how it looks. I mean, I will say the design on the on the these cartridges look pretty nice. And just like how weird it is, yes, you actually have to flip it upside down, turn it around, and stick, stick, stick it in there. I mean, at least you can see the name, but the rest is kind of upside down, so kind of weird, you know? So if it's like this, then you're like that. So I guess it depends on which uh, direction you're looking at it. Ugh. And then we have Joust. I would say one of my fun, the, one of the fun Atari games that I have here. It is very simple because it's Atari, but it's still, I don't know, they just very nice arcade style. Let's joust! And if you notice here, this one just says, or this one has like the black label, and this one has like the silver label, and it actually says Atari 2600. So these are the, these are what the first cartridges look like, just with the black label, and just Atari on it. And then they made the, well, I guess I have to do some research. You of all people should know this. But yeah, these are the newer consoles that actually just say, that actually say Atari 2600. And just like before, upside down. But if you're that way, you'd be able to see the name and yeah, it's very confusing. But, uh. And then next we have Yar's Revenge. I, was, I will say I'm still not sure if I'm playing it right or how, how exactly it's supposed to be played. Or it, it's very confusing, but uh, there's like a chunk that looks like just a bunch of fuzz, so. I'm not sure what that is, but I like it. I thought it was broken right away, but then I realized that's how it was. But I mean, like I said, very nice artwork. And just upside down, there. There's a there's an upside down. At least it actually has the the names on the. Cause you got that, you got Pac-Man, got Joust. Definitely nice, you know. And then we got Dig Dug. Uh, well, so if you notice, looks like a piece got ripped off here. Don't know why, don't know how, but. <laughs> Someone just ripped it off, I guess. But yeah, so this is another one of the Atari 2600 silver. Nice. Um, I mean, good thing you got most of the picture here, unless there's like a little character here that we're missing. I guess I'll check um, if I could find the original or the complete cover. But I mean, you could, you know what it is from this. Or it's enough artwork to, to know. Definitely really nice here, Dig Dug. Oh, my bad. There we go. Got that. Yeah, sometimes you gotta put some pressure on that. Pressure spot. Pressure. But yeah, well, I feel like with Dig Dug is actually one of the good ones. Like, if you look at how how it's looked from this, from the Atari to like the other systems that you played on, there isn't really much change. Well, I mean, you could tell there's change, but luckily it's not a huge change. It's just Atari style, which is more simpler, but still pretty nice, you know? And Dig Dug is definitely uh, an arcade classic, so you can't go wrong with that. Classic! It's a classic? Yeah! Oh, oh! oh. And finally, we have Donkey Kong. So, well, look at that. There's a Nintendo game on a non-Nintendo console. That's weird. But yeah, so this... Uh, yeah, too bad the thing got ripped off. You can't really read that. But yeah, so this was... I mean, I think it's very straightforward. Oop. The Atari version of Donkey Kong. The one everyone knows and loves. The arcade, the arcade classic that everyone knows. Donkey Kong. And I mean, yeah, this is definitely, I would say, one of the worst versions of it. I mean, it's definitely not bad, but... Just play it on a NES or a Super NES or newer console, because the Atari is definitely super old. And this one even says Coleco. 
I wish I had some artwork, but I mean, the design of the name is pretty nice, so can't go wrong. And it has this weird bend, Coleco bend. Made in Hong Kong. Okay. So yeah. Well, oh wait, this one you actually. Okay, this one's actually facing forward. Oh wait, I think they were all were. Well, they were just upside down. Yeah. So this one's kind of weird. Well, that's Nintendo for you. Always doing something different. It was the Nintendo Power Glove. So if you just put them together. That's a nice picture right there. So yeah, that's uh, that's a tie for you. Classic Atari. Let's do this. I mean, it, it may be old. It may be. May, I would say a lot, a few of the games, or if not most of the games, are outdated. But there are still definitely some good games to try out here, and you know. The, the controller is a classic. That's an Atari joystick, man. So you can't go wrong with that. But uh, thank you for joining me, and uh, I'll see you in the next video, and consider subscribing. Take care.